Welcome back to the Goons Podcast. I'm McNasty here with Blarg Soup and Do. I don't know what they usually say in the intro, but today we have a guest, Yummy. There's, there's usually time... beatboxing. You yeah, gotta beatbox. You need, to, you need to drop a beat. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, that goes right. hard. I right, ain't dancing enough. for no fraud, boy. <laughs> so where are you yeah. at right now? <laughs> don't pay no mind to him. <laughs> I'm just in my bedroom. <laughs> yeah. Why are your Is sheets, he, uh... like, rusted? <laughs> yeah, who's the, who's the fella on the mattress? <laughs> 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 For those on on Spotify, uh, Soup is gonna f sound a little weird today, and uh, you don't need to know why. All right, he's I have monkeypox, bitch. That's yeah, all you is, need to know. He has monkeypox. He's wearing a mask to avoid giving monkeypox to other people. He's being quite courteous, actually. Um, I suck a bitch's dick. <laughs> <laughs> all right, anyway, well, yeah, we have we have Yummy on the podcast today because. Well, actually, I, we don't know where McNasty is. He just... He, he might just, show up. He yeah, just he, uh, we, yeah, we started at four. Well, after four. Um, and then he said, oh, fuck, it's Wednesday, but still hasn't shown up. <laughs> so, we started so, at the same time we've started at for like a <laughs> two years. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dude, yeah, I was thinking about saying. last time. Last time I was on this podcast, it was like, here's Yummy. He lives in Las Vegas. What do you do in Vegas, Yumby? And I was like, I don't know. I'm a gamer. I stay inside all day. And then you guys were like, well, that's fucking boring. And then we just had the worst podcast ever. We didn't talk about anything worth of any value. Okay, hold on. All right. It uh, was like, this, this is Yummy. He lives in Austin, Texas. What do you do in Austin, how Texas? How the mighty have fallen. Literally the exact same thing. Let's but go. now I'm in a different city. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Follow us We will on now do 55 minutes of talking about nothing important whatsoever. <laughs> Well, you at least have like different roommates now. Yeah, I do. Yeah, different roommates, yeah. different walls that I'm living in, different people in my walls. I like nice. walls. I like going inside of walls. I believe that, but buddy. But you've eaten a mean wall in your life, haven't you, Grandpa? Is that why they made your bedroom walls concrete so you couldn't get out? Can you read what I wrote on my wall over here? Game your hand is no you? clipping You're going through the wall, through the, Grandpa. You're yeah. going through the doorway. Stop no clipping. I like going into walls. I told y'all, I'm an expert at it. What does your wall say? Oh, it looks ball? like it says gamer subs. Yeah, it sounds like yeah. gamer subs. What, gamer subs made here? Is that where you make gamer subs? <laughs> it says gamer subs put me here. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, gamer subs will kill you. So go use Wait. code goons and it will kill you. When what? you actually smile, I think it like the mask smiles with you a little bit more. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that he's just vibrating. Yeah, that's fucking horrible. This is the worst mask ever. Yeah. This is the yeah. worst podcast ever on the fucking planet. <laughs> That's true. Correct. But people still Everything like it for about some this weird is reason. The worst. Yeah, I don't I don't really know. Yummy, how's your podcast doing with the fellas? It's good. Yeah. We just be chilling, vibing, hanging out. How many we got a lot of people, so I was gonna say, how many of you are on there? Uh six. And if we get a uh, guest, That's seven. Hectic. No seven. way. Yeah, I couldn't have crazy. I could not have what done that mental fuck? math there myself. That's, so thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy <laughs> over there, dude. That that's a lot of people. How do y'all maintain who's speaking? Uh, you guys like hold guns at one another? Yeah, we're like under the under the frame of the camera. We all got guns pointed at each other. <laughs> I now, like that. Are, we, are uh, most of you in the same house too? So you could actually just shoot through the drywall yeah. if somebody gets out of oh, pocket. I could guesstimate where half these people are and probably hit them. Yeah, I'd be good. I'd be good <laughs> to shoot somebody if I needed to. But nah, we dude, we talk over each other a shit ton. That's like the only bad part about having so many people. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. We don't really care too much. Do you live with all of them? Is there seven of you living? Six of you no, living in the house? Fuck! I did the math. Five, five. five? Who yeah. did, okay. That, I uh, mean, even that, even that's a lot. I'll be real. I was gonna that's say a that lot sounds, of roommates. That's that sounds like a lot happening all the time ever, especially because like YouTube moments. Oh yeah, especially Does it get loud. Yeah, uh, I mean it's not actually not as bad. It's not that bad. It it can be loud, but it's not too too bad. Is it like a typical YouTuber house where no one sees each other despite living? No, with each surprisingly, other? we actually see each other a lot. And I think it's because these guys don't play games like a lot of the gamer houses that have existed or whatever. They're like Discord, mm -hmm. mostly Discord streamer yeah. type guys, but they just like to hang out. So we actually see each other a decent amount, like every day, all the time. Is there more? What the hell are you talking about? What is Discord? Discord, you don't, you do not need to know what Discord is. You, I want to know what it is so bad. No, no, sir. He needs nope. a new Discord kit in that one. 
You need to keep loving bingo, and that's it. Nothing else for you, Grandpa. <laughs> there ain't no bingo on Discord, Grandpa. Did you buy that hat specifically for this bit, or did you actually just already have a hat that says, I heard bingo? <laughs> Reasonable. I answer. hate this. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> that is a completely reasonable. This is this was answer. sewed onto my head by a nurse. <laughs> okay. She turned around and I grabbed her ass and then she sewed it answer. onto my head. That seems that's actually pretty fair to be honest. I, I I allow that. So why is there a clown juggling balls for eternity on your bed? Is he doing that against his will? That's my buddy Derek. Derek. <laughs> Everyone say hi to Derek. He's on the podcast hey, today. Hey, Derek. <laughs> we have two guests today. <laughs> uh, what about the fella that's uh, oozing out of your little TV there? What's, what's uh, his name? I don't name? know who that is. Okay. <laughs> He's not welcome. It's the oh, Gamer Subs demon. Yeah, the G Subs demon well, coming we, out of the we shouldn't, uh, can. We shouldn't ignore that uh, Do is on a talk show today with... I am talking two, to a monkey. Two, two You're only other, asking one question. Two other apes. <laughs> and I'm never getting the answer ever. A 22-minute talk show of where the banana is. And it's one awkward silence. I ask the question at second three, and the talk show's an hour. We sit in <laughs> silence. Pondering. Pondering where the banana could possibly be. Um, I had questions today, actually. Oh, my God. He came prepared. No, somebody commented. <clears throat> oh. This. I'm never prepared for anything. I just put on funny shit and sit here. <laughs> Hope for the best. But, I mean, that's like more preparation than it would take for us to like find something to fucking talk about. I feel like at 120 episodes deep, we kind of struggle <laughs> to find what to talk about week to week because it's like... Is that where we're at right now? 120? Does Do we... I don't know. Do we count the two that we took down? Why'd you take them down? Well, you, you I know I keep why. counting the things don't, that I take down. No way you don't know why. No. Oh, uh, is it bad? We had we guests interview on. bad people. Yeah, we had guests on, and and those guests are uh, not good, as we say in the business. The typical okay. YouTuber meme. Yeah, well, a little could, YouTuber funny. Moments. Oh, I could guess maybe one of them, but I'm not yeah. going to. Yeah, yeah. Well, their episodes are gone, so we'll ignore that. But are oh. we on episode 120? I feel like we're on 120 now if we subtract the two. I would mean you've been doing it for two years Actually, and a half. I how long have well, we what definitely skipped? Fuck? When was our first podcast? The first time we did a podcast was August. Well, actually, hold on. That was before September the 11th. The first time we did the Goon yes, podcast sir. was April 16th of 2020. Remember that day, Grandpa? What? Yeah, he remember was... that day, Grandpa? <laughs> I don't remember nothing. He was directly <laughs> involved. He is in a jail cell for his crimes. God, we have a lot of demonetized podcasts. Dude, when we first I can't. Started. This is Osama. I, I you old literally. Yet? I'm so I'm like geeking. Imagine I came on the podcast high, thinking it was gonna be a normal one, and I'm just like <laughs> side eyeing soup it? the whole time. I didn't see soup, soup a really, at all. A really blurry it to be guy and monkeys. And then you were like <laughs> down like a hallway so for me. Down. I'm like <laughs> dissociating out of my body. <laughs> that was good news. I lost the questions. Let's right, go. We have to use our good. brains. Let's talk it's about. Very good. I got an email Simon. from someone like Joe about Rogan. questions. Okay. Good job. Well, do you, good job, do you have that email? That you email. have a computer in there? I keep a couple things up my ass that no one knows about. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> do you nice. want to share what those are, or do you just want to get into show the and questions tell. you found? Yeah, I uh, mean, someone named Dingus Johnson emailed me. That sounds exactly like somebody who would have good questions. Um. Yeah, they typed a long paragraph that I'm not gonna read, but then they sent a Google <laughs> just a nice heartfelt <laughs> message. Fuck it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, I just see ugly fat R word, so I'm not gonna read all that. Okay, well I, I have a feeling yeah, it sounds like our, one of our fans. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who that's about. <laughs> and then they said, "Here, I'm skimming. I hope I can't see. Uh, oh, I plan on seeing what the future <laughs> okay. holds for all you R words. Hopefully, it's karma for the shitty videos." <laughs> This is like a, your um, number one hater. Why are you reading his message upset. out? I don't, I don't think he's. I don't think he has questions. I think he's angry with you. When does the question start? Um, it says you guys suck. I hate you all. <laughs> um, podcast questions. I, I, I'm literally. He typed out a fucking. Oh my god! He typed out sixty. Of course, sixty nine questions. Oh, in a man. word Holy. document. Uh, let's see here. If the purge were to happen tonight, what would you do? Probably kill you. Kill a bitch. Looking at you right now. 
I'd probably just hump something to death. You do that anyway, birds or not. Yeah, you know, like, if you grab, like, a local squirrel, nobody's gonna, like, stop you from fucking it to death. The squirrel would. Not really. You're not telling me something I don't already know, pal. Well, well, then why would you wait for the purge to fuck something, you know, till it till it's yeah. dead? It's a you new could, opportunity for you could hump whatever you want. There'd just be like on a new high. There'd just be like sirens going on while you're humping something, and like people being shot and stuff. <laughs> it's kind of badass though. It's like adrenaline pump and hump. Yeah, there's just realistically like, though, <laughs> your, would, your neighbors get hump. tortured while you hump a squirrel to death. If the purge were to happen, I would hijack a plane. <laughs> They go and, where? <laughs> yeah, where would you where would you fly that to, buddy? <laughs> I would fly it into Texas. Okay. The whole state? I'm in there. I would land it. I would not kaboom it, you know what I'm saying? I would okay, land yeah, in yeah. Texas. Yeah. And I would start digging. For what? For guns. They're buried all over Texas. Are are they? Is that lore? They're Yummy knows. That's why he's laughing. He knows where they are. <laughs> they might. The they might be in like a doomsday prepper's backyard in a giant PVC every, pipe. But every square foot of Texas has guns buried in it. You'd be lucky you're finding gold. I feel, remember the Alamo, bitches. I feel like you have a very tainted expectation of what's happening in Texas. From your I've been one, there, buddy. I know guns you and have. Oil every every square foot. You just dig. There's guns and oil. <laughs> you dig everywhere. You're rich. There's gun and oil. <laughs> Humanity has really overlooked digging holes. We haven't actually. There's like a <laughs> lot of big holes. <laughs> there's the. We need the, to start okay. digging more shit. There's the honestly. super deep uh, borehole in Russia. That's a cool hole. Yeah. Why do we keep going up? Why do we go into the sky? Why are we going to space? Why don't we look down more? Why we, we should. In? Should we Let's compile there. a lot a of list. free real estate in the earth? Should we, while live, compile a list of top ten holes? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, I have one. I have a list of that in. Is my it? nightstand. In my family. I think... I want to dig a hole in the Atlantic Ocean all the way to the Pacific Ocean. Underneath the U.S.? I want to go through the Mariana <laughs> Trench with a big old fucking massive, like, Mr. Incredible drill. Imagine I don't, going down I'm not going to tell you no. <laughs> Mariana Trench and dropping some fentanyl down there. What do you think would happen? <laughs> You'd probably just die before you, you got the fentanyl. scatter it behind you while you swim like a badass and then... A giant squid snorts some fentanyl. Becomes superhuman. <laughs> There's superhuman like ten squid. dead orcas behind you floating. <laughs> <laughs> the deepest hole in the world isn't very wide. In case anybody was well, wondering. How deep is it? That's like poetic. Sometimes uh, the deepest holes aren't the widest. I'll tell you how deep the deepest <clears throat> hole is. The drilling began in 1970 using a... A name for a drill, drill. that's Russian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, a, drill. A, that's a tweet right there if I've ever heard one. The drilling began in 1970. <laughs> that's all you say. Then, what does it mean? <laughs> and then I was born shortly after. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, th no way, 35 kilometers deep. That's what a does that mean? 22 that miles. Good. That's a 22-mile deep hole. I could run that. I could probably do the people's elbow and hit the earth deeper than that. What is that? Isn't that a wrestling move or something? Yeah, it could be. <laughs> it sounds like it. Where he's like, sounds right. God, yeah, yeah. It's nice. yeah, yeah. I'm sure that looked good in my low pixelated camera. <laughs> <laughs> I remember as a kid, I I would go in the in my backyard with my nice. little plastic shovel, and I would say I'm digging to China. Really? I also I, tried I, that. I, I were you that trying too. to invade, or were you? Was it like, uh, you know? Okay I think mission. I was hoping that I would like dig into uh, something. I was nice. hoping to go to a Chinese food market every time. Like I would just okay. end yeah. up and I'd look up and there'd be just like end red up in shit Wuhan everywhere. Wet market. <laughs> yeah, like the food. red neon signs and I get like an egg roll. Yeah. Yeah, there was propaganda happening in the US when we were kids for sure. Okay. Yeah, that's Dig into cool. China. Yeah, I just I used to uh so I was a bit of a fucking idiot and I, I used to go to my grandma's house, and my grandma had a big empty field in her backyard. And I used to grab screwdrivers because, for some reason, in my head, those were effective for digging. So I'd grab, like, screwdrivers and hammers and, like, everything but a shovel. And I'd go <laughs> nice. in the backyard, and I'd try to find dinosaur bones. And I would dig with those till I found dinosaur bones. And I'd find, like, a broken twig and be like, oh, my God, Grandma, it's a T-Rex femur. And she'd be like, yup. And then sure she'd drink is, a lot of beer. And <laughs> That's pretty good. 
So yeah. she was an alcoholic that gaslit you about dinosaur bones. Is what I'm yeah, actually, that's story. pretty spot on. <laughs> that's that is uh, that that is extremely accurate. I dug up a dog's skull once when I was a kid in my grandma's backyard. Were you backyard. the one that buried the dog? No. You like okay. I have no idea whose damn dog it was. <laughs> How do you know it was a dog skull? I assume. I mean, well, what the fuck else would be buried in your backyard? That's kind of scary to think about. If it's not a yeah. dog. Yeah. It was I thought you were small. experienced in dog skulls, so you would just be quickly uh, identified. You probably like a dug dog up like. You probably dug up like the last owners of that house is like Shih Tzu, that yeah. they put to rest. You just dug up its bones and that bitch was ruined small. its resting. Yeah, a little dog. Little I saw a. Dog. Uh, I saw is that like the one that grinds on you every episode. <laughs> it's like the ghost of the dog you dug up. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> there he is. That's yeah, it. That's the the ghost of the dog that you dug up right there. <laughs> he does look ghostly. Look at his eyeballs. Yeah, that's the lore. We've, I, we've created dog. new lore. <laughs> I uh, I don't know. It would have been like I don't know high school at some point. I don't know how old I was. But we were walking home from high school, and it was like uh, I don't know, like mid March, so all the snow was melting. And we found like a half rotted Chihuahua corpse melting. Oh my like, god! Like the thing, like definitely got out of its house and like froze to death at some point, and had just been hidden in the snow all winter. And then in March, when it started to warm up, its little little corpse was just like reemerging to the earth. And we walked by it, and it was just this little gross fucking Chihuahua body. Where me and Super from? If you're not seeing roadkill every day, you ain't driving. That was that's is. the goddamn truth. <laughs> every day. I possums. see like raccoons and raccoons, possums, deer, oh, literal bro. fucking gigantic yeah. dead deer just exploded. I almost destroyed dude, I saw a, deer a possum the other day. in South Carolina. Yeah, dude, they get destroyed. Like, there's probably one getting destroyed as we're talking. <laughs> yeah, probably every three seconds a deer explodes. It's probably I wonder a real if there's stat. like analytics on that. Yeah, somebody probably. do the research. I mean, uh, when Smitty and I were driving to Toronto, there's a big stretch of highway called the 401, and I don't know if it still is, but at one point it was regarded as like the most dangerous highway in North America because it had like the most accidents with like animals and cars and shit. And uh, we that's the road we take to to Toronto, and we're going around this bend, and there was probably for like, dude, at least two hundred feet straight, just red smear on the road, and then at the <laughs> end of it, this mangled deer corpse. So <laughs> this deer definitely jumped out, got hit by the car dragged by the car for 200 feet before the person thought, you know what, where'd that deer go? And pulled over where its corpse lied on the side of the road. And it was, like, mangled. There was, like, bones sticking out, and she was all janked up. Damn, yummy. you look awesome. like you got midget arms. You know how they always, like... <laughs> well, when I go out, they're, like, super long, and then when I go out, they're really short. <laughs> yeah, you got midget arms. <laughs> Short you and fat, and then you got you this that. insane wingspan. <laughs> oh, dude, what is that? What am I looking at? Bro, you just made me fart. What the fuck? I don't know if those are related. You you made my body have a reaction to that. It's almost scarier than my fucking camera. <laughs> so I didn't know that was going to happen. I've never seen that before. That I mean, insane. how often are you, like, weirdly wide? Not, on never. I've never stretched. I'm so stretched out right now. Yeah. You look like you yeah. were in one of those, like, circus mirror rooms. Where the kid will sprint straight at themselves and fall Oh, I and love cry. those. No, like the funny, the funny oh, mirrors. Oh, oh those ones. Where, like, makes you look all warped. Yeah. yeah. I like the ones where the kids just run into the wall and get brain damage for the rest of their life and talk with a I used to, Dude, in the rooms like that, the mirror, the mirror rooms where you couldn't see where you were going, <laughs> I would sneeze on the ones so I could tell where I was at. You're like, disgusting, on it. dude. You're gross. I would, it would help me keep track. Yeah, you're a fucking idiot. You How many literally walk. do you have in the fucking chamber, buddy? It's true. There was a lot of pollen in there. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Does anybody have, like, an actual good experience from a fair? Because I don't. I've only had mm, bad. I've only I got threw up blown on. chunks on uh, other people. I, I What's went with throwing behind, up at fairs? I went behind a, behind a ride with a bunch of my friends, and there was this dude just going to town on a lady. Oh my we, god. We went behind a ride to go smoke. That's and, a felony. And he was just, no, they it, it looked pretty consensual, but yeah, they not were not at the circus. Well, not to everyone else at the circus. <laughs> you can't just get yeah. fairgrounds, it's oh, free yeah. game. How old were you, Larg? Uh, I was probably like 14. Yeah, did Damn. you consent to this grown man doing that in front of you? I mean, I did probably would you sign something. Though. I probably would have gave him a little high five, like, out of boy. You're at the fair, the bro. If you're walking behind rides, you're asking for yeah, it. Yeah, see, we went back there. to See, it was not a bad hiding place, because there was, like, a bunch of, like, cattails and shit behind there, and there's like, a little path through. 
where you walk through and yeah he was just just going to fucking monkey town on her ass you could just hear like balls clapping and all sorts of crazy shit so and, uh, good experience or i mean not bad we 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 went somewhere else we thought you know what that maybe maybe this isn't the right spot this one's already taken so. You should have just sat down beside him like nothing was happening. <laughs> you would have freaked him out. That's not even the weirdest spot I've seen somebody have sex in public. We were at, I was probably 16 or 17. It was when Danielle and I first started dating. And we were hanging out by her old house. And she's like, oh, one of my friends got a boyfriend. We should all hang out us four. So we had like this nice little, I don't know, if, I think I might have told this story before. I don't know, whatever. But um, we went to this little, like little hill. And at the bottom of this hill, there's like a church. And we were sitting at the top of the hill. I think we got pizza or whatever, and we're just eating. And in the parking lot behind the church, there's this two. There's these people that pull up in like a bum ass van. They open the side door. She like put her leg up on like the fucking hood, like all the way up, like spread eagle. And they they like they knew we were there. Like we were not that far away. We were we were probably like a hundred feet away. We're like we were close enough distance to see all this going on and like not secret whatsoever and she put her leg up on the hood and the other one was still on the ground and he just pulled his pants down like halfway where his little butt cheeks were out and uh mm. yeah he just he just went to pound town and we just sat there at and, church and watched yeah at a church parking lot it's like bum ass like, you do it crack van <laughs> that's how you do it. thanks grams for the advice i'll yeah, take that to that's heart that's how you do it that reminds me of back in the day yeah that was uh that was a weird thing that was Watching people have sex without you wanting to watch people have yeah. sex is a very I've never experience. had that. Ever. No, you I've never, never like, seen, seen anyone anybody? have sex. Really? You've never seen somebody no. get like sloppy toppy on like the, nope. the interstate or anything? Nope. nope. I watch people do it all the time. Yeah, I, I get that vibe from you. Close your tabs, <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> Random Mongolian throat singer. <laughs> The purge. Okay. We we have derailed the question yet again, fellas. <laughs> it's like I think I'd twenty start minutes of rambling. I I uh, what would I do if purge? I would I would probably steal the car, because for okay. huge. That sounds I'd like fun. Get, yeah, I'd go get like a a McLaren or Ferrari or something that I wouldn't normally want to buy. Yeah, but it's free, so it's cooler, you know. <clears throat> I think that um, when Soup lands his plane here in Texas and starts. Digging on the runway for fucking guns. I'm gonna get in his plane and go fly it and see how many G's I can hit, pulling straight back. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna let go. So and you're gonna kill happens, yourself. Happens. May if you're, maybe I don't. But if you're killing yourself, why would you even wait for the purge? Why not just you like could, you could fly go to do Mars. that on a, like Wednesday at 4 p.m. Okay, I'll fly to yeah, Mars. You, you could pull a heist on NASA. Just fly your own damn. Well, my ID, my ideation with the purge is I'm probably gonna die anyway. So why not do it? In so a you don't know that. Like Tom Cruise. Not if you find all the guns in the floorboards of Texas, then you're okay. Yeah, Texas yeah. is gonna be True. a shit show. Yeah, but the elites already have all of that shit categorized and sorted. Like they know what's going on. They know the coordinates. The elites. But I've I've found it on the internet. Oh, you yeah. just googled where the guns oh, in yeah. Texas live. It was just I love top bingo. On Google. <laughs> I love bingos like code. Is it like elite <laughs> code? Are you like you're repping them right now? You're repping There's the elites. There's all around my room. <laughs> Piece it together, viewers. <laughs> well, out of context, I probably sound like I'm having a psychotic break right now. <laughs> but in context, all around my you. room. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, look at oh you. Oh my god, dude! This mask. Every time I talk, like when I talk loud or laugh, it Does echoes it through this mask. Oh, it hurts. Nice. Yeah, it's so ass. It's Dude, so what did you ass. say you were going to do with the purge? Who? Me? Yeah. Oh, I, I probably nice. a heist on... Yeah, did you like that <laughs> shit? Uh, Dude's getting humped in the purge, 100%. <laughs> I, I, yeah, well, you're I, the I'm, humper guy. I'm too much of a pacifist, bro. I'm probably one of those bitches that hunkers down in a bunker or something. Oh, you're you're going you're gonna to pull out a guitar and go out in the city that's being burned down. You're like, <laughs> I'm going to shoot a man and take his guitar. Somebody's got to make the soundtrack to all the shit show. Just shredding a oh, scent speaking of uh, soundtracks, dude, you should talk about uh, your what? video game soundtrack. Oh, yeah. so You should talk about that. It's kind of cool. I mean, like it, on a scale of coolness, it's, it's like... It's, it's on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it like a not bad. 
I'd give it like a yeah, like a two. It's pretty cool. There's this little game called Scars Above that's out now on Steam. Came out February twenty eighth, and uh, it's a sci fi action game. They, they asked me if they wanted me part? to. Mm, yes. <laughs> Can I just interject my own sponsorships on the Goons podcast? Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, but yeah, no. They they asked me to write a little little gu- guitar solo for the game, and uh, it's uh. Really cool. It was like a bucket list thing that I always wanted to do. I went to college for it, and uh, finally got the opportunity. So now Hell let's yeah. get to the hard questions. How much did they pay you before taxes? Uh, <laughs> no way. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, editor, bleep that! Holy <laughs> shit! Editor, bleep it! Like, put a really long censor there so it sounds like it was. Yeah, a they're gonna lot. think you made like, like a really long number. Deep. <laughs> Thirty billion Just trillion multi-billionaire dollars. Multi billionaire off of this, <laughs> off of making one guitar solo thing. Did they like give you That's full, fucking awesome? Did though, they give yeah. you like full creative freedom, or did where they were like, it has to sound like this? Uh, they gave me like a backing track. Okay. Um, because it's like a lot of like synth wave sort of ambient type shit. Yeah. In the game, so I, I guess if I just threw in like a Dragon Force sounding meme out of nowhere, it probably would have been Start really out of place. Start shredding out of nowhere. You just play completely out of key, just like <laughs> open strings, yeah. just like sliding on the guitar like that. That's what I should have done the whole time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they kind of gave like creative direction, but it was just kind of an empty like three minute track, and they're just like kind of just do whatever you want with it. So. Huh. Hell yeah. <clears throat> That's pretty dope. That's pretty sick. That's fucking awesome. That is dope. Yeah. Um, Soup, does I that mean, guy have... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, there's not like a whole lot to say about it, but... Yeah, I mean, it's still just cool. I don't know. Yeah. To even like have a brand like, you know, be like, hey, obviously we could hire somebody whose job it is to make music for video games, but we trust you, the YouTube guy, to do it. I feel like that's a, a cool yeah, just privilege. Like random. Yeah, I think it's really cool that it's actually something that you would do even without it being like associated like you said you went to college for it and all that so that's yeah you know it's something you would do without even the youtube side without of shit, the do so. something you without would do without do. the do just eric yeah eric and eric. it's a lot less cool when well you say done it like that but yeah. eric thank I'll you give you a one out of ten now for no that was good that. you're cool eric you're a cool guy thanks guys i think you're a very cool guy Thanks, guys. We are your haters. Don't Maybe one day you'll be as cool as old grandpa here. God, I don't I think anybody old. wants to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, I saw... Oh, boy. Sorry. I saw a Reddit thread that I thought would potentially be funny, seeing as how long we've done YouTube and um, I know Soup did sports where you hear a lot of funny insults and shit. What is the... Have you guys heard, like, an insult that anybody's ever said around you or to you or to somebody else that you've just, like not been able to forget someone called me the <laughs> words <laughs> words <laughs> there's more than one <laughs> he literally started that sentence and had no idea where it was going and it went nowhere <laughs> no someone called me a pumpkin eater one time i'll never forget that <clears throat> pumpkin eater Alright. It's like, okay, you fucking eggplant fucker. <laughs> Those are the ones that hurt the worst. Like, if somebody just called me, like, a fucking piece of shit, I'm like, whatever. Yeah. You Skittles enjoyer? Like, oh How does that God. mean? <laughs> I, uh, when I, when I played hockey, uh, there was a girl on the other team, and one of my buddies was in front of the net, and she came and, like, cross-checked him in the back. And he turned around and was, like, going to swing on her. And then he's like, oh, it's a girl. I don't really want to swing. And she's like, oh, you just didn't want to mess up my face because you think I'm hot. And he's like, shut up. Your fucking trainer wouldn't even molest you. And I oh, fucking... Damn. <laughs> Dude, damn. I, I had to get off. I was fucking dying. I, I literally just, like, I, I was only, like, 30 seconds into my shift, but I had to get off. I was fucking crying. Just, like, I don't know. Just, it was so quick and unexpected. I just was not ready to hear that. I just thought he was gonna be like, yeah, whatever. Fuck you, bitch. And, like, you know, whatever. But he just <clears throat> had that man. fucking locked and loaded Brutal. on her. Yeah, I... I, I, <laughs> I, I, that that one. One. <laughs> I, I, like, I, it's such a weird, like, niche fucking insult where it's like when would you even have the chance to like use that other than that specific incident you so can just say I that asked. to random people doesn't matter 
Yeah, <laughs> your trainer wouldn't molest you. So I don't have a trainer. I don't, yeah, I don't know. It was like a very specific insult that was just I I fucking lost it. I was I had a good hee haw. That's a good that one. one. You're so ugly, Grandpa might just do it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared shitless currently. I think, I think we need to get rid of that fella. I might need to go take I'm a, a mirror, take a actually. hammer and a nail and go right into his the front of his brain, just hammer it in. I'm it. a menace today, fellas. Yeah. Today? Can we do a segment? I'm gonna go take a what big What kind poopy? of segment do you want? Okay, <laughs> yummy <laughs> leg. Has to go shit. Yummy leg. To- oh Yummy's yeah, yummy. Segment. How's your leg? Well, I want to see first of all how it looks, and then also if it's midget. sports related in- injury. Midget leg. Oh, yeah, no feet. No feet in the frame. Oh, I hope you look got a good. A little disappoint. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> D- dude, <laughs> oh my god, I can't, bro. I can't you need to go to a doctor. So Are you straight, fucking kidding I me? Can't straighten my leg. It looks so fat and big. <laughs> dude, dude, you look so meaty. That looks, <laughs> look fu- bro. That looks like a fucking <laughs> mutation. That looks like some dead space shit. Yeah, that, looks like that, you got that. bit by a walker. Yeah, bro. That, does, like that looks fucked, dude. Your leg being like that looks so fucked. Put it down. <laughs> God damn. I made mean, grandpa you're, break you're character. Upsetting, you're upsetting oh my grandpa. My Put it down. I you're made him break character. <laughs> he did. Yeah, he was. That's where he draws the line. I didn't even see shit like that. No, I'm That's boy. where he draws the line. Thick that's ass. jungle rot. Thick ass legs with some rot. Dude, that looks on. like gangrene. <laughs> like, what the f- you, Did you not see it on Twitter what happened to me? What did that's happen wor- to you? Yes, I did, but it's worse now. That I got lo- hit dude. by a baseball. What, yeah, but like. Was there oh. like a video of you getting hit by we a baseball? Were just, or like- there's gonna be a video. Yeah, we were just like having fun, like messing around, whatever. And then I was like, Soup. "Coach, pitching. hold on, hold on, hold on, Soup, buddy, don't try that. Do not try that." Soup. He's got it. He's a professional dipper. He can get anything in those lips. So yeah, he's like, keep going. <laughs> Soup is drinking water. No, he did it. Ass. He did it. <laughs> <laughs> I see dripping on the Damer subs is delicious. Old man breath. <laughs> I hate it. I yeah, hate you it. know that shit smelled like two week old <sighs> shrimp. All right, All right. Story? sorry. Anyway, so I was just doing a little coach pitch, boom, and then uh, the guy batting, just full. He played a lot of baseball in high school, apparently, and like, yeah, that shit went fast right back at me. He was like, Dink! and it like line drive straight at like leg height, and I like jumped and turned. Luckily, it hit me in the calf because if that shit hit me in the shin, I think oh. I would have actually had to go to the hospital. Like, bro, that would have been pretty so bad. bad. You would, or that, or you would have had, like, the worst shin splints ever from, like, if you had, like, a micro fracture or whatever. That would Dude didn't fucking... get to see it, so I'll do it again. What happened? Yeah. Oh, sure. my God. New I'm segment. New Close segment. your old I'm, eyes. I want to look. Ready, dude? Dude, look at this shit. Ready? Is that your... Oh! Oh, I pulled a muscle. Oh, my God. Oh, that <laughs> fucking hurt. <laughs> dude, that hurt like shit. Hold what on. the fuck? That shit looks so <laughs> much worse. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh Grandpa's damn. getting happy. Why is he spinning? Grandpa's liking where this what is going. What am I supposed to be looking at right now? <laughs> Yummy, yeah, do you have underwear Grandpa on under those? Otherwise, this. your balls are going to be <laughs> wide on camera. <laughs> damn. damn. Were my balls out? I have underwear on. No, you're like out. Your They're out, buddy. Briefs. They're out, buddy. I like your little boxer briefs, boy. Is that from the? That's the sh- the baseball shit that happened to you. Yeah, the baseball meme. Damn. Yep. That shit looks brutal. I like. I like. Dude, you need to segment. go to a hospital. What is up with I you think and I'm being okay. against hospitals? Me? I want to know. Yeah. <clears throat> you had bronchitis. You I grew up without a father. And- <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to laugh that. Is that related, <laughs> or you just want to talk about that? <laughs> yeah. Guys, listen, I need help, please. <laughs> I've been avoiding therapy. You didn't want to hang out with me in in, uh, in Texas because no, you fucking Yeah, I had bronchitis. Listen, I have a problem. And you didn't go to a doctor. No, I don't I don't I don't go to the doc I need to go to the doctor. I have an issue. Are you like a like Christian scientist or whatever the fuck they are? <laughs> Scientology. Oh, no. Scientology, like like yeah. Tom Cruise? No. Yep. No, I believe in the doctor fully. Uh I just don't have well, health. They exist care. either way, buddy. Yeah. I, I don't believe in doctors. They're not real. <laughs> They're like Santa Claus. They come in the middle of the night and poke you with shit. This is a normal sized water bottle. <laughs> be yummy it's, finds wide. It's literally. That's like how so Shaq dumb. sees every water bottle. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I mean, he got big grippers. Monkey fist. No, yeah, I just, I don't know, man. I, I need to go to the doctor. I can't let this extend into my further adulthood because this is why people die. Like, this is why men die so early. Because they don't go to the doctor, and then they're like 50, 
And then they're like, no, just avoiding the doctor. And they're like, oh, you have type 2 diabetes and colon cancer and, and fucking gut rot. And they're like, oh, <laughs> why is that? Well, you haven't been to the doctor to have a checkup in 25 years, so maybe that's why. Well, I feel like it's like people who, like, it's the same thing as, like, when your car is breaking and you hear, like, a, a weird noise, you kind of turn up the radio. Because you know when you're gonna go, like when you go, they're gonna be like, "Yeah, that's wrong." But also, these 45 other things are also broken. I feel like a lot of the people uh, feel that way about the doctor, where they're <sighs> they're like, "My my spine hurts," but I know I'm gonna go in. and He's gonna tell me that like Long I shouldn't be French bill. kissing chihuahuas anymore and stuff. So like they're yeah. gonna be they're gonna be like, you know. Yeah. Upset well, I just with like you. I don't know. I have a weird time frame on where I, I'm like. Can I get through this? Do I need a doctor? I'm like, I can get through it. I'll be fine. I don't need a doctor, but maybe I should. Not. I, mean, I think my legs are okay. Do you have okay. like health insurance there? Is that a thing that you have? I would just have to pay like 400 a month. I don't oh, have it right now. Damn, 400 a month for health insurance? Yeah. That's if how mine is. Yeah. Really? If you're a YouTuber, yeah, you just got to pay out the ass for it. <clears throat> Holy yep. moly. Yeah, it's that's, expensive. That's wild. I did not know that. I don't know why I that's thought it was like... You just got to become friends with doctors. <laughs> yep. Exactly, and, dude. Veterinarians, I'm telling you, they're underrated. Yeah, they kind of know what's going on. Do you on. go? Do you go see the vet for yourself? Yeah, he just <laughs> goes in, and gets a little checkup. He sits on the desk and waits for him to put treats down, like a good dog. An animal. I'm telling you right now, vets are not just good at putting hamsters in balls. I have never taken a hamster to the vet to do that. They've you just put them in the ball yourselves. They're quite a malleable object, hamsters. Stop smiling at me! Like that. I hate it so much. What about I hate the awkward coach? silences with Grandpa. This is Grandpa. my favorite, favorite episode yet. <laughs> this is the I worst episode Paul. yet. He's never been on the show? No, no. Grandpa's the first time. Okay, We've had I'm glad. aliens and monkeys, but not Grandpa. Alien lean? Uh, alien lean? Oh, yeah, Fortnite back alien in the day, lean. I had some of that shit. What? I had some of that alien shit back in the day, that alien pussy. <laughs> Boy. Yeah. I had a dream one time that a UFO came over my house and sucked me up, and they put an octopus on my dick. <laughs> That was the best fucking night of my life. Dude, I, God damn it. I zoned out for like half of that. <laughs> that had to be a wet dream. Oct that had to what be a wet are dream. What talking about? Octo octopi, octopussies have beaks. They bite. They can... They yeah, can they do have enough. beaks. I hate that they say they have beaks. They do That's have just... beaks. They have beaks. That, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. It's bigger than one on my nose. Damn, man. That thing Turn feels sideways. good. Wow. That's that is a, a drooper. Yeah, that's a, okay. after after a little, shot. That's a little clip tickler if you're down there. <laughs> that's Damn, like that you just a... came and you're like you're on the come down. <laughs> Granny likes this one. Yeah. Granny's, Granny likes the I gummy think, snaz. Granny's probably cheating on you. How long have you been in there? <laughs> yeah, you think Granny's waiting for you? Ain't no I way. usually ride it on the walls, but I kind of lost track. You look like you smell like a used muffler. Like, you don't smell good. Like, a, there's a rusty tinge to you. There's too many skin folds. <laughs> Have you ever walked in, like, an old church and, like, you're alone and you just get, like, lightheaded and start spinning? And then the, mm -hmm. and the no. pastor starts walking behind you really fast? Okay. Is that the pastor? That's what you smell like. Oh. <laughs> don't smile. Don't. Don't do that. You look like you're coming now. <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> God, it's, so it's like you're evolving. <laughs> That's it. Oh, we need soup. What are the other 68 questions this guy asked? Uh, oh, yeah. I forgot we had one. I forgot we one. had oh, yeah. <laughs> question number 40 minutes. We got the one question. <laughs> Damn it. Question numero dos. It's going to be a long podcast, boys. <laughs> if you could go on a date with anyone throughout history, who would it? Where would you take them and why? I would take Grandpa to Butcher Chef in Toronto. <clears throat> Very good restaurant, and I feel like you would fit in great there. That's it. Mm. Easy peasy. How about you, Grandpa? Grandpa, where would you go? I would take Lee Harvey Oswald to the butcher shop. <laughs> Were you trying to say the restaurant I just said? Because that's a different place. <laughs> no, the actual, the actual butcher. Okay. I would take JFK to the butcher shop. Well, now I feel Honestly, like I, though, I, I would my probably answer. take, I would probably take Michelle Obama to Staples. <laughs> what's you, your date? What do you, what are your, what, what would you do there with her? Like, look at fucking um, laptops and shit. 
Do they even have laptops? Yeah, they staples? have laptops at Staples. Why what does she need? I would a... buy her one of those that was easy buttons. Okay. Because I'm an American. Alright. Okay. Maybe uh What about y'all? Maybe rethink Barbara your answer and we'll circle IHOP. back. Okay. She looks like she could put down a mean grand slam, even though that's Denny's. <laughs> That is a different restaurant. You can put down a mean stack of cakes. What do they have at IHOP? They don't have cool like people with Grand one Slam leg. names. Um, I I'm gonna take Kamala Harris to endless grilled shrimp night at Applebee's. Why was the formula presidential wife re a shitty restaurant? She's <laughs> not. A I would take Doctor Fauci to backyard midget wrestling. That, that oh he'd be upset. He would not like it. <laughs> But then he could he would probably be like, I created half of these people in a lab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I made the funny little stem cells for that guy over there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, okay, those are all to go three. way back. Those are all horrible. Thank you for question asking. Question number three. Uh, question. Uh, 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 this one's dumb. This oh, one's dumb. The other ones weren't. You could skip this it then. You don't dumb. need. You don't need to ask it. There's 67 uh, other questions still. This one's dumb. I think this one's a good one, guys. Stop moving oh. your mouth oh. like that. It's <laughs> 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 the latest shit. Put a put a dip in. I I already do. Are you not spitting? He's <laughs> sucking on that shit. He swallows. You, you, He's a classic. You don't broad. swallow. You, swallow. you don't swallow dip, do you? No, you don't. I'm pretty sure I, you I die. swallow a lot more than that. Isn't pal. tobacco like extremely toxic? If you like, actually, it's actually it? good for you. I don't know if you've ever read uh, the internet. Infowars.com. Yeah, I've never read the uh, the entire the internet. I haven't blog. got to that yet. One time back in the day when I had a Facebook, I read that uh, smoking a pack a day was really good for you, and I've never, I haven't stopped. So I, I believe care. that on Facebook. Yeah. Right, look yeah. at look at him. He's twenty seven. <laughs> 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 so right. he's, he's, he's he loves life. bingo <laughs> he's got his own place he's got yep. a friend hanging out in his room yep. yeah. yeah that's Derek look at Living Derek proof. like a Derek. fire Derek's almost starts when he gets under the sheets from all the rest yeah don't okay, ever put your tongue away don't ever do that <laughs> what, what is the question yeah what do Ooh, you I ask? got a good one I got a good one is it one of his can okay, I just what is off. the most useless skill you possess the thing you just did. <laughs> yeah, probably that for everyone. <laughs> I don't think there's a more useless useless skill. skill? Oh wait, define? hold on. I can uh, actually. It's gonna be really hard because I'm so low res. I can uh, make my tongue into like a little circle and, and it makes a little whistle. <laughs> that's that's all I, I got. That's got to be useful in some way. I don't know. It kind of sounds, like, like, sounds like it's like, like a, a bird mating bird call. call. Yeah. Just like, yeah. Do you ever need to bird fuck? It probably makes your head game plus one in terms of skill. I can I can make a three leaf clover with my tongue. Dude, what note is he playing with his tongue? Play the note. That's a. You kind of you kind of like into. Uh, a tonal somewhere in between here. Is it A minor? We don't do A minors here. No, it's like an F sharp G ish. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Oh. How do you do that? How did you figure out how to even do that with your tongue? What? Yummy or me? Yummies. Oh, you, yeah. You like, don't, how do you, you end up begin to do that one? No. Day? Yeah, you do. I can fold and it. One day I, really I just I saw you, somebody but... do it and then I was like, yeah, Dude, the I amount of I'm control I have over my tongue is incredible. I have 100% yeah, muscle yeah, control. I'm yeah, so yeah. wet. I'm so fucking yeah, wet. Yeah, you yeah, said yeah. that. All right, Grandpa. Can, can you, you say uh, that? I literally. I'm gonna shit cook you alive and grind you Yummy. down. Yummy. We powder. should we should tongue kiss with clover tongues. I don't think we should do well, that. While he whistles in okay. your mouth. No, I can That's do the grandpa clover off. thing too, so we can just rub. do that. We don't need our little clovers together. We don't need that. Okay, that's Grandpa fine. will have his Polaroid ready when y'all tongue kiss. What about nope. you, dude? We're going to ignore that old man for a minute. <laughs> the most useless skill. I can pop my toe forever. <laughs> Actually? You, do you have any now part of your... to go on America's Got Talent. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any parts of your body that you can just crack indefinitely for no reason? My knee. And you my think you're getting, like, shoulder. arthritis someday? Yeah, that's that's my toes. That's weird. I guess my that's kind of cool. It's not. Okay. 
<laughs> anyway, this question sucked. <laughs> I mean, what constitutes is what, what? What makes a skill? Yeah, what is a skill? Like, something, something cool. Okay, I can shoot a three pointer. Yeah, that is useless because you're white and short. I learned how. I'm to six two. Pen. Look at these arms. Do you think you these actually, are the arms of a guy? I think you were that much taller than me. I am six two. Look, I say, wait, I am I gonna like be wide? Taller than me. I gotta back up. Yeah, you look about four seven. <laughs> God, that ass. Did you see that ass? Yeah, that was I know, a... dude. So plump. Damn, man. <laughs> the whole, the whole, <laughs> whole earth like shook. A giant. <laughs> Why do you look like that? <laughs> Bro, it looks like, so it looks so like you hit your head on the door frame. <laughs> so curved. Look at his shadow. <laughs> He's got that downy neck. Look at <laughs> you. like fucking grew. <laughs> that is a fucking... Wait, can you just sprint? Can you just... Can you just sprint at the camera one time? Yeah, can you go all the way back in the corner and run at the camera? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Spotify. Spotify, read oh, the braille. That ass. Dude, what am I looking at? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's so fucked. That so I was going to say my look. useless skill is this. That's that's not yours. You bought that. <laughs> You didn't make that. What is that? No, is that it's a, a lighter. Oh, you could play the rec a mean recorder, Grandpa. Whoa! I can, I can flip. Okay, never mind. I Hold can... on. Look at that. Damn. Yeah. When I was in when I was in school, there was a crackhead. There was like a little crack baby kid that went to school with me. Okay. Mm. And he was always talking about how um, Moses in the burning bush was like Moses doing shrooms or like smoking weed or something, and uh. Okay. So I was a little scared of him, but he would always, he would he would always uh, flip his pen <laughs> over his finger. He would always flip his pen over his finger while he was sitting there. And so I would I went over to him one day and I was like, "Bro, teach me how to do that." And he was like, "It's all in the fingers, man." Yeah, no shit, and, dude. And then he, <laughs> I thought it was in the hips here to get that a little yeah, movement. He, there. he was a crack baby. And then he he taught me how to do it, and it, now it is something that I do every time I hold a pen in my hand or an object that I can, that I feel has the correct weight. Yeah. To flip around my thumb. Yeah. Okay. Like six Pretty inches. Cool. Did you guys balls. ever have the pen tappers in in school? Yeah. <laughs> I was real bad about that. I was I was bad about doing that. I That's tried tough. not to do that. I have a tendency to like play drums on things and tap all the time and make mm -hmm. noises. So I we yeah. had people at our school in lunch, you know the the big white old old tables. Yeah, imagine Damn. that, but forty times as loud, and they were just yeah. Ooh, and then yeah, they'd get in trouble. Do you guys ever have like a food fight at your school? Yeah. Nope. Really? Not on a grand scale. We used to throw fries and cheese at each other. That doesn't cool. even count. So like, it was at guys, one so, table. Did you guys have a uh, so like a grade twelve prank, like a senior year prank that? Oh yeah. Do. oh yeah so the one that uh our year like our whatever when i was graduating they uh that was their prank is to start a massive food fight and like everyone knew and the teachers and shit already knew somehow they found out principal everyone knew so everyone was in there waiting and it, it, everyone knew it was going to go down like there was already police there and shit <clears throat> waiting at the school and the one kid was like, well, I'm going to get in trouble anyway, so I might as well do it. And he turned around, grabbed a sandwich, took the top off so it was just mustard and meat, like, directly, and just wailed it at the principal. And there is a photo of the sandwich midair going towards the principal, and it is so <laughs> fucking funny. And he that got is fuck. arrested. Well, hold on. like, Let me finish explaining. So they arrested him scolded him in front of the principal and then we're like yeah we're gonna book him just to scare him and stuff and whatever and they took him from the school brought him to burger king sat in the parking lot and hung out there for a little bit ate some food chatted and then what? they brought him back to school and told the that sounds fucking they, awesome. they, told, they told the principal that they booked him and that they gave him a very stern warning and all that but he went to burger king <laughs> Just oh, that's a way to start throwing sandwiches. Had a whopper and shit. 
I'm yeah. gonna throw a sandwich at Elon Musk. Maybe he'll take me to fucking Mars and I'll get a smoothie or something. <laughs> yeah, it's an infinite, infinite food Burger glitch. King. Throw a sandwich, glitch. get free hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the rest of that food fight was horrible. Everyone just ran. And then there was one kid that brought like 200 packs of uh, um, like pudding, and he just, took the, he just took the lids off and just started fucking grenading pudding across the. Dude, and it was we would have made a few just randomly with liquid shit just for the meme. <laughs> just fucking throw diarrhea in a Ziploc bag into the crowd. <laughs> Nobody shit would into die. two slices of bread and throw it across the lunchroom. <laughs> Nobody would notice. It was disgusting. Our yeah. our senior prank was was messed up. We did some some pretty fucked up shit. Like we we got a giant tub of Vaseline. We put it on every door handle of every classroom. We put it on like the teacher's car door handles. We put it. Um, we like got this string and tied it everywhere. It was like a maze. You couldn't even walk through. We took all the desks and the chairs and we put it all in the uh, men's bathroom and we duct taped it all together in a giant ball. Why? Because we fucking hated that school. <laughs> it was, I got a, I, dude, I grabbed a whole handful of Vaseline like this and I went, yeah, and I threw it at the backboard on the, <laughs> the vessel going and just went, Psh, and it like flattened across the whole thing. Yeah, that's pretty oh funny. my god. I don't know if they ever cleaned that off fully. I doubt that it. That's pretty funny. <laughs> we hated that's, that place. That is, a, uh, that is the a cops bizarre. were also there when we were, because we were given the keys by somebody and we went after hours. It was like 12 a.m. Oh, you got, oh, there. what's the fuck? Y'all like actually broke in. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. And the cops were there just like watching us and then they left. It was kind of weird. They were just kind of like, hey, guys, stop. And then nobody stopped. And they're like, oh, no, whatever. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, yeah I feel like that's a pretty minor thing. Cops don't need to really lose their yeah. mind over. No, I, I think they all understand that it's, like, for the most part, harmless. So this one's in, like, the 70s and shit and, like, 80s, like, like our, our whatever, parents' age or whatever around that. Vandalism. Were wild. Yeah, they would literally be like, yeah, we torched the school to the ground. <laughs> yeah. Would they go to, like, the rival school before a football game and, like, shoot their mask on the C4 head in a locker? Gun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, theirs were fucking Put insane. Tannerite in the football. It's like, we put we filled the mascot's costume with bullet ants. <laughs> <laughs> like, something is fucked. The star quarterback gets a baseball pigs. bat right to the knee. <laughs> Yeah, our school didn't. He slid his neck in his sleep last night. It was a great prank. <laughs> our school didn't do shit. Ours was boring. Really? But I, you I guys heard didn't of, have one? I, no, our, ours was boring yeah. as fuck. But I, I had a friend uh, that I met in college. He said they just lit trash cans on fire. That's not even a prank. Like, that's, that's how's that like, even a prank? That's just like actual just arson. Maybe they were trying to like attract the local homeless population to come warm themselves by it. Yeah, I don't know, man. That that that's a pretty lame ass prank. That's just like acti- asking to go to juvie or some shit at that point. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys have any like weird fucking things just like happen at your school? Yes, a like, lot. Like just like, all right. Well, yeah. Go ahead. A lot. Well, this it's because the school I went to wasn't capped out at high school. We shared a building all the way down to kindergarten. Oh boy. Mm. Oh my god, that sounds yeah, dangerous. It, it yeah, it was hell. It was awful. There would be poop on the bathroom walls at least, like, <laughs> once a month. And I'm talking, like, shit-smeared, smiley faces. There was, oh. a kid, there was a kid who was a maniac. The cops got called on him, and he was, like, arrested and put, put somewhere. He was so he literally weird. had one singular <laughs> cigarette. Utah. <laughs> He's in the cell next to me. <laughs> <laughs> he had one singular cigarette, and he brought it to school with a lighter. And he went, he lit it, and he... Flicked it in the trash can, and the trash can caught on fire. Oh, uh, yep. Nice. Uh, there was shit all the time. Because, dude, I went to school with the dumbest people on the planet. Like, that, that place was hell. Shit like that happened all the time. It was stupid. That is, oh, that is okay, weird. I'll tell you the craziest thing that ever happened. Okay. <clears throat> For some reason, my school decided to fully expose our septic tank. There was what? some weird As issue. You do. Yeah, they dug it out of the earth and they left it in this what? giant, like 20, 30 foot deep hole. You could see, you could literally, we were at school walking around it. Like it was, there was no tape. I thought you were going to say you could see it on Google Maps. No, no, you, there was <laughs> no big. tape. You could have fallen in the space. hole, could have gotten injured, right? And they left and it poop? exposed for like a week or two. No, it was like a big green tank. It was like a giant. Metal oh, it was tank. covered. I was gonna yeah. say, like, dude, open. if that was like open, like that's like, no, nope, I put didn't fucking finish. Punji steaks with shit on them. I didn't even finish because oh, it gets no. crazy. Okay. It gets bad. All right. So uh, they leave it uncovered for two weeks because I don't even know why. And a uh, hurricane rolls through that weekend, oh. and the hole fills up with water, and the septic mm. tank 
just literally floats up out of it, out of the earth, and just <laughs> falls over, and all the shit and everything spills out oh. everywhere. At the school. <laughs> oh my! And we God. were out of school for two weeks while they Bro, cleaned that's up kinda everything. That's kind of sick. Wait, that's what? awesome though. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah that's because of a shit spill. Pog. Everybody wins in this scenario. Yeah, literally nobody <laughs> loses except for the people who have to clean up poo poo water. They could have just waited for another hurricane. It would have washed it all away. That is fucking insane. I, I know. Oh I know. Oh my god. So there's just like shit infused in the soil in the field or wherever that was. Yeah, I oh. think the reason yeah, they did, dug did it the up. the fucking jungle grow there? Like, I don't know. I didn't walk week. out. The most fertile soil on, pl on the planet. <laughs> I, I think the reason they dug it up in the first place was because one of my um, friends, he said he took a piss and he flushed the urinal. And he could have been lying, but this is what he said. He said shit came out of the wa where the water reflushes to flush everything down in the urinal. He said shit oh. came out of it. Oh. oh my god! I don't even know if that's possible. Plumbing uh. experts confirm <clears throat> or deny. Slash plumbing. Well, I know. Uh, I know a lot of like <laughs> little trolling that used to always happen in our high school. Is kids would lift the back of the toilet and they would fucking shit or piss in Dude. it. Dude. And then like when you flush the toilet, shit and or piss would come out, and like it wouldn't be like a turd obviously but it'd be like just clear water and then just like little giblets of brown oh yeah see, i, I just found avoided a... using bathrooms at school as yeah. much as possible yeah, oh, no, yeah i would just go home if i had to shit you ever find a little coiled up turd in the urinal <laughs> no that's adorable i saw somebody in the act though you saw the, the walking you on caught somebody. somebody doing it yeah and crying at the same time <laughs> <laughs> did you ask <laughs> any question it was a, really it was a teacher <laughs> <laughs> no, we were younger, and yeah, he was just. I walked in, and I, was, I walked straight out. I was not having any of that. You should have started a podcast with him. That would have been the worst podcast ever. He's probably like, he tied like up an back interesting there. fella. No, dude, that's probably the coolest thing he's ever done in his life. He, dude, he probably, he was probably. I don't even know, dude. He's probably having a mental breakdown, <laughs> shitting in the urinal I and crying. I just cannot imagine walking into a bathroom, seeing somebody shit into a urinal with tears <laughs> rolling down their eyes. And just, I'd, I'd, probably, I'd probably film it. I'd probably go to jail just to film that. I would pull a doctor yeah. disrespect and just film somebody shitting. It's like something like that has to be documented. No, yeah, it really it, does. Honestly, if, if I was ever having a day so bad that I was crying and shitting in a <laughs> urinal, I'd want to like put that in a scrapbook. I want to like go back and relive that day. Yeah. What Thank has God. to happen to you? What specific series of life events is like, you know what? How, I'm going to cope with this by shitting and crying. In <laughs> What's funny though is like that we're laughing at this, but this kid probably wakes up in a cold sweat like once a week thinking about the time some random little white bowl cut hair yeah. kid walked in on him shitting into a urinal while he's crying. And now hundreds of thousands of people are talking about yeah, it. Or hearing about it's it. Worse I, mean. for him. <laughs> I don't know. I was, was going to say, I don't know if hundreds of thousands of people are going to talk about this conversation. <laughs> you know, maybe, everybody like, bring this up podcast. at the dinner table tonight maybe with like, your family. Maybe three or four will be like, yeah, you hear the goons episode about the kid that shit in the urinal. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think thousands are flocking. Make that your goal. Poop kid. Tell your teachers this week. Yeah, tell everybody you can. <laughs> spread the word about the guy. That poop yeah, tell the teachers to put I'll this tell on you his name. fucking projector in the classroom. Not his full Don't name. Watch the whole episode. <laughs> Wait, can you yeah. guess his first name? What, what what would be the type of person to, to shit in a urinal? Okay, good guess, but not. It's two syllables. Starts with the M. Michael. Yep, his name is Michael. That is Michael, Michael Energy. Energy. That is yeah. Michael, Michael, Michael Energy. Energy. Yep, Michael. So if you're a Michael, you Michael's there, watching. Michael Shitron. Now what's his show last name? Maybe it was him. My urinal. Maybe Michael's watching. Yeah, what if yeah, what if he's watching? What if he's a big yummy fan? He had no idea that you were the guy. You grew up to be you <laughs> yep, and he grew up me. to be the guy in the story. He probably He's been himself. on like the uh no. the Craigslist lost connections for like his whole life, like <laughs> typing out you walked in while I was crying and shitting in the urinal. Please contact me. <laughs> and now he's finally found that connection here. <laughs> That's what the Have you guys seen those through. things? The no. the lost connection like no. Craigslist shit? No. Bro. No. They are fucking hilarious. It'll be like, <laughs> I think that's what it's called, like lost I feel connections. Like there's be a lot of cursed ones in there. But it'll be like, <laughs> I was in Walmart yesterday. I was, I'm a single dad. I was with my two kids, and you looked really nice in your yoga pants. You looked at me and smiled. If this was you, please contact me. What the hell? I swear to God, it's a real thing, dude. It's it's wild. How do they <laughs> Some think of the, it's gonna work? I don't know, bro. I wonder if any of those have ever actually worked out. 
Uh, I doubt it. Probably not. Not in a Walmart. It's got to be one. It's like, yeah, I was yoga pants girl with the smile. <laughs> I feel like that could apply to so many people at once, though. Somebody in yoga pants in Walmart who smiled. Like, that's got to happen hundreds of times a day. Who's the weirdest person you've ever seen in a Walmart that you can recall? Um. Oh, I mean, I don't want to call them weird immediately because obviously, like... There's some sort of something happening there that they well, can Well, a lot of weight. mental disabilities but and stuff. No. There dude, this oh. was the fattest person I've ever fucking seen in my life. Yep. They had their own <laughs> Mario Kart. Yep. Oh, you just say yep. Why are you saying that? Like, it's like a He's like, oh, yeah, I, know. I know the one. I've seen him. Bro, but, uh, have you been have you spent five minutes in a Walmart? They had, like, they had the fattest their own, people on the planet. They had their own Mario Kart. And it was a Mario Kart that has the handles on the side, like, or not the handles, the like armrests, like a chair. And was the little buggy in the front full of peeps? Yep. <laughs> no, so no, like nachos and it, Doritos it didn't, and it did, soda. It didn't have anything in it yet. It was she was walking in or walking. She was not fucking walking. No, was no she chance. was not. She was being cranked, <laughs> she was helicoptered dirty. in. Uh, they no, it, she she was rolling in as I was leaving. But you know how those things normally go pretty quick. So like I saw her thumb Not this to the fucking to the handlebar. <laughs> Dude, it was moving like half a mile an hour. It was like just black the motor was, was coming struggling. out of the back. Of it. <laughs> it was just like <laughs> like the electric motors are just fighting. But anyway, it had the it had the fucking armrests and what immediately like I didn't notice the armrests at first. The person I was <laughs> with noticed them because she slid one of uh -oh. her muffins underneath of it, and the other side boob <laughs> muffin thing was on top of it, so it was completely gone. You could not That's even a wedge. see them. Oh you my God. like you could oh, not. Oh, it was in. She's like a hamburger. That's in. the meat, dude. It was literally like, yeah, no, it, dude, not even that. It was, like, it was gone. Like it, it actually could not be seen. Yep. Maybe she's like the human version of like agario and she just like absorbs everything that she comes in contact with she like absorbs she's got her own gravitational like, pull like I, I normally do not i do not like commenting on people's physical like you know if they're fat or whatever because a lot of the time it is genuinely out of their control but like when you're like 600 pounds like go for anything like literally lift up a five pound weight in your bed twice a day for like I don't You'll fucking probably know. lose like 50 pounds. Yeah, you literally lose weight. Like when you're that obese, your body doesn't want it. It doesn't want to be there. Your body does not want to be able to take down a house in one single roll. Like it's you, you don't want to be there. Surely you could just do something about that. If you're okay enough to get on the little fat person Mario Kart and drive around Walmart, like surely you could do something about being like 650 pounds. How do you it was even Dude, Get it was remarkable. How do you do anything? How do you? Like I actually don't like. They definitely yeah. have a panel van outside for her, where they open up the back and just like skid load her in. There's no way she's fitting in the driver's seat. Uh, listen, I've always <laughs> wondered. I've always wondered this. Yeah, Grandpa. People like, you know, like thousand pound sister type people. Yep. Yeah. How do they wipe their ass? They don't. Genuine question. I they, like genuine. They do not. Like, I'm, not even, don't. I'm not even asking in a funny way. No, they get like I remember, sponge baths. I remember as a uh, as a small young lad walking around licking my massive lollipop in my little spinny cap. The first time that I saw uh, gargantuan the beast approach <laughs> like an Elden, an Elden Ring boss over the hillside, <laughs> and I remember thinking to myself. How does that person wipe their ass? That was like the first thing that came to my my like young lad brain. It was like that they person's arms can't. will not reach their butthole to wipe no, their they, ass. They, 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 they don't that. just can't. Sex? I don't any, know how like, the shit actually gets out because there's just so much more skin and fold. It's like a pinball machine. It's like, it's like the plank like, to Dude, I feel like... <laughs> oh, it's like a water park for turds to slide through their ass skin. There's Grandpa. so much more mileage to wipe. I feel like at that point. Grandpa's about to have a heart attack. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> it's a Although, you know what I? You know what I saw on Reddit actually the other day? Some really obese guy, but he had elephantitis in his nuts, and his oh, nuts. Yeah. <laughs> so his nuts developed like a seam. Like you know, you have the the seam of two men you were stitched together seam. and yeah. turned into one guy. Um, so his seam because he had elephantitis turned into like a second ass crack, and for like a year straight. He was wiping his ball seam instead of his ass after every time he shit. He thought it was his ass. 
So he was wiping his ball seam, and there was like, like, <sighs> crusted oh, shit to the back of his ass. Like it was like permanent <sighs> tinge brown. Like they're, I mean, that's they're a gonna common have to bleach mistake, it. though. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> I, I just error. I just scrub my balls. Let's be so real he just, here. He thought he had ghost shits for his whole life, and then he just <laughs> actually was just. He crusty. was just like, "Damn, I'm the luckiest <laughs> elephantitis fat person ever." <laughs> <laughs> I'm just shitting out pure toilet, liquid that's gold just like, on my ass. He probably thought bad. toilet paper was like a government scam. Like it never worked for <laughs> yeah. him once. He was like, "Yo, shit, don't stink. It don't that is a, look." A bad hand to be dealt, though. Elephantitis and morbidly obese. Like you got fat nuts. Nuts, fat guts, fat fucking everything. You can't do. I feel nothing, like bro. at that point you gotta get fat to like equalize, because like otherwise you just gotta become a lifestyle vlogger. The craziest part is though, is that like when you get elephantitis, you get huge fucking nuts, but your little dick stays the same size. It so doesn't it just change. Looks, no, you you don't get a big ass hog dick. You get like like you don't a get no elephant. You have the a amount normal of semen produced dick. change. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, what if you produce like buckets? <sighs> <laughs> Buckets. <laughs> Buckets. <laughs> like just well, Buckets, no, of, that's something Buckets that needs to be of fucking cum. Can fill a swimming pool in like two weeks. If you just get busting in it with elephantitis balls. Incredible. That's what happens if you drink gamer subs with Coke Goons. That is that's true. Right. Bigger yeah, nuts I guess, than I guess balls. it is that I guess bigger it is balls that time. ten percent off. Yeah, you will get ten percent off and then ten percent bigger balls if you drink gamer subs. So use code goons and get an, a percent of money off of code goons. <sighs> um yeah. Uh yummy here. Go go watch yummy podcast and yummy content. Just go watch links my YouTube the, channel. Yeah, link to oh, that. I got one more question. <laughs> oh, do you? Are we not I got, done? I got I one, I got one okay. more question. All right, yep. all right, you go ahead. Um, Is that where we're going to cut it? <laughs> oh, no, so we go through this guy's 69 question okay list. all right you can do one we can do one more buddy soup does the full, the full outro i was just i was handing him the torch there but he's not ready so it's okay no, he's oh he's not ready no, he's not ready yet <laughs> grandpa never wants to get offline <laughs> that's all right we'll let grandpa hang out for a little bit online bingo that's all he plays he eats he eats and lives and drinks and sleeps online bingo Grandpa, what's the question? This better be a I'm good looking, question. bro. Grandpa, people have already left. I'm gonna say, <laughs> all right. If you could ask the president one super silly question, what would you ask? Super silly. How are you still alive? Super, super quirky. <laughs> are you okay I'm in there? Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> Just sound like wood, like a wooden table. I would probably go to like the depths of like a Mongolian jungle and get like some like Latin satanic bible scroll thing and like learn how to recite it just so i could walk up and be like excuse me sir and, like and something like that just to like hear what his reaction would be will you be surprised when he replies in perfect Somalian yeah, what if, goat, <laughs> goat tongue he like starts t posing and floats into the sky starts pissing. his eyes are like glowing you activated red. him <laughs> sleeper agent <laughs> well, that's I'd probably gaslight him. Yeah, that's it'd be. Things. I feel like it'd be so easy to gaslight him. Yeah, man, that'd be kind of fun. Gaslight an old, decrepit man who happens to run the most powerful nation in the entire world, where everything's a tongue twister that he says. Ah, I would probably like. Cool place. Where's the Where's the big red button they never tell you to press? Let's yeah. press. I'd want to see button? like. I'd, I want to see, like, the inside of the walls of the White House. You know there's some shit in there that's crazy. I, I feel like they've just replaced his button with, like, his nuke button with, like, an easy button from Staples. Yeah. They probably put an easy bake oven in there. Probably. I don't know if they trust him with heat. He's probably got, like, a little Hot Wheels track under his desk. <laughs> <laughs> it runs all day by itself. <laughs> he just, he just I bet, it. dude, like a little he most definitely has one of them. office. Remote control cars that he drives around in the over Oval Office. Yeah, they probably took his real Corvette away from him, so he just gets a little. He's got a, a little, little Flintstones car little that he sits in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you should do the outro. <laughs> oh, it's echoing like he's actually in that chamber. Yeah, that is it's very hilarious. real. Oh yeah, like I'm actually here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Grandpa, Are do the fucking here? outro. Go download on Spotify. <laughs> 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 Like and subscribe for more. Oh, Grandpa's gonna gum your pussy with his knives. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> all right, goodbye. <laughs>